Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome to the Realm Royale Reforged PTS and today we're going to be experiencing the brand new Realm Wars game mode. And in case you don't know what Realm Wars is, it's basically a multiplayer team deathmatch awesome. sort of game mode. And it kind of just basically drifts off away from the Battle Royale perspective of Realm Royale and puts it into a multiplayer perspective. And honestly, I'm excited to check this one out. I've seen a lot of people give me feedback about this online and we're going to be experiencing it for the first time today within the PTS. I will be making a separate video on all the patch notes and stuff regarding what's going to be coming in the brand new update when it comes out on all platforms so you know what sort of things to look out for. So make sure you do look out for that. But at the moment, let's see... Uh, what this game mode has to offer and from what I've heard online as well the PTS at the moment is extremely sweaty a lot of people are just ultimate triad in this at the moment so I'm not expecting to get a major amount of kills bear in mind as you guys know I normally play this game on console so I need to brush up on my PC skills a little bit so today is just going to be for me it's going to be more about just experience of the brand new map and obviously just See what my overall first impression is of the Round Wars game mode. Obviously, from the get-go as well, we can notice that the you can be able to like forge as much as you want. You'd be able to upgrade your weapons a lot more quickly. And um, from what I've heard online as well, you can literally get shards really quickly for this mode. The description of this game mode as well is stated that Round Wars is a team death match that's added in with a brand new map which is called Primal Island. This mode is a chaotic 10v10 deathmatch that lasts up to 15 minutes per round. You drop, loot, forge, and then fight it out. And tips to get you started. The team with the most kills after 15 minutes will win. The right side of the screen shows your team's kills in blue and the enemy team kills in red. If a team is up by 40 kills or more after 5 minutes, then it will end early. If you, you will passively gain 20 shards every 5 seconds. You use them to forge between respawns and upgrade your loot. Um, forge times have been drastically reduced to one second. Armor is always forged at legendary levels. And events will randomly happen throughout the match. Be ready for anything when you hear the foghorn. You can have things such as uh, forge fire sails, rising tide, so then you can literally the map gets flooded. So if you're in the water, you will die. Um, adrenaline rush, so you'll be able to like run even quickly, be able to jump extremely high, hard dive, and loot fiesta. And obviously there's loads of, like bug fixes and stuff. Um, but like I said, when it comes to the patch notes and stuff, we'll go over that in a separate video. But honestly, this sounds promising. And I feel like, in my own perspective, this is a good move for the Realm Royale community. It's something new, something to, like, change up the tide of the game. So it's not just a Battle Royale experience. It's literally now a multiplayer perspective as well. But for me, the main things I want to see with this mode now, I want to see the mode grow. I want to see this mode become the best it can potentially be from the development team. And this particular map as well, with it being a small, chaotic little map with a small player count... I want to see this map come into the normal battle, ro battle royale rotation as well. So that'll be a nice thing if we can include that. Because a lot of people online have been saying that this is like Realm Royale Reforged, very own like Rebirth Island sort of map. Obviously, if you, you know what Rebirth is if you're a Warzone player. But it's basically like a small chaotic map, which it's become now the new Realm Rebirth Island map. But from my perspective so far, I'm really liking the look of this map so far. It looks really good. And to be honest, I want to learn more about this. There's a couple of forges on the map as well. I think there's two each side of the map. You've got one that's inside the... It's like a church sort of building. Or a castle sort of building. You've got one that's inside one of the huts. You've got one that's in the... Like, just under where I am right now on the map. At the very bottom. It's like kind of me for the uh, bones. And then you've got one on the other side of the map, which is unlike one of the houses. So, four forges. And some of the feedback I've been seeing online as well, a lot of people have been saying about that you can easily spawn trap in this as well. So, obviously, one of the big things you're going to have to look at as well as the um, spawns. So, prevent spawn trapping. Because apparently there's like, some people have been saying it's like fixed spawns or something. And apparently one of the big things that's been addressed as well by people is that there's uh, balance changes that need to be addressed as well. Like, there's a couple of things that need to be 
change, buff, nerf. And apparently a lot of people have been saying that the um, engineer class as well is pretty overpowered as well still, so... I don't know. We're gonna have to see that for ourselves. Ooh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Check in, I'm checking. And I'm dead. And obviously as well, you can respawn in this game mode as well. Don't worry. So you're not just literally out if you die. But I do need to like step my game up at the moment. So I do need to try and get a couple of kills at least. But to be honest, you know, I'm not prioritizing many kills during the PTS because I know how sweaty these sort of lobbies can get. Because I always find when I play Realm on PC, I do get into some insanely sweaty lobbies because a lot of the main OG players or some of the very best players for Realm Royale do play this on PC. So with me being normally a console player, I tend to get like more of the casual experienced players, but PC, I do know there are some of the very best players on PC. Because some of the movements and stuff, the tricks, the gunplay, and how people maneuver with these classes and movements and stuff, is really impressive on PC. So, you get him? Oh, he stole my kill, man. Fair play. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on the things down below in the comment section. What do you think of Round Wars so far? And obviously as well, one of the things you've probably just noticed as well is that the revolver has been changed now. It's not called the revolver no more. It's called the hand cannon. And a lot of people have been saying online as well that they've really nerfed the revolver. Like, it's completely different now and performs very differently compared to how the revolver used to be. Because obviously, if you remember some of my old gameplays, when I used the revolver, it was literally beaming across the map and we're able to obliterate people with it. But obviously now it's very different from what people have been saying online. Whether it stays that way when the full update comes out, because obviously with the patch notes that I've got at the moment, which I will be addressing in a separate video, um, currently they are subjected to change. So some things can change, but when I go over it in a separate video, I'll be able to discuss everything that's been addressed so far that's going to be included in the update, if of course they go by everything that's stated. So then you guys got a, you know, <laughs> got a good understanding to what's going to be coming to the game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, obviously, when this update does come live on all platforms, I do want to try and get some really good high kill games on this. Because I feel like this is going to be a really good game mode to level up classes and stuff. Obviously, as well, from what Thor has mentioned online, from what I've heard, is that this mode will only contain real players. It will not have no bots in it. Whether it changes in the future or not is a different story, but as of now, this mode only has real players. So every single player you're going to come, come up against is a real player. And apparently there's no matchmaking to it. So you put with anybody. You know what I mean? So there's no skill-based matchmaking like there is in Call of Duty where you're up against people of your skill level. You're up against anybody. So you imagine if you put on crossplay and you play this, you're going to be up against some sweats, you're going to be up against some noobs, and you're going to be up against some experienced players. But on the PC, I know there's a lot of sweats on there. And, I, and you guys know, if you're a PC player and you're watching this video, you know you're a sweat. You know what I mean? But I respect you guys because, you know, you're some of the best players at this game. Because this game originally did start off on a PC, and I can't, like, fault that. And from what I've heard by a couple of people mentioning before is that this game was intentionally just going to be a PC game. But because of... The feedback, they eventually ported it over to console, which is obviously where people like me and everyone came on board and started, you know, making videos on it. Because obviously I played this game during the, I think it was like the beta stages of the game, like the early beta stages years ago. But there's some players out there who played the alpha and everything and, you know, GG to them. See, I remember, like, trying it on PC. Um, one, I think it was a couple of times on PC when it's in alpha stages, but I didn't really, like, you know, have a big focus on the game at the time. I think it just experienced it because, obviously, at the time, everyone was hyped up on Fortnite. And then, obviously, when it came to console and I had a code to play the game early on console, I think it was, like, in closed beta or something, um, I started realising, once I started putting time into it, making videos on it, that this was something that... 
I wanted to bring to my channel and the next thing you know it's kind of became an asset to the channel now where we you know we have a call we have me call of duty videos we have realm now it's just become a you know it's become home to this channel in a way my god, my god. Ooh, I need to brush up on my uh, sniping skills Ooh, checking him and my team member finishes him off and they steal my kill after all that effort I'm literally becoming a tower camper right now, just like sitting up on the towers and just trying to snipe anybody I get the opportunity to. But to be fair though, I can't really complain about the kills, but obviously shout out to my team members as well on my team at the moment, because obviously it's two teams of five, so it's 20 versus 20 technically. Well, 10 versus 10, sorry, there's 20 players in total. Um, so for my team members on this one, we've got Nerf Kenzie, you got Wahadi, Wahadi? And GameCube Live and A55POO. Aspoo, basically, is that what that's supposed to say? Aspoo? Uh, but Aspoo is literally just smashing it right now. Seven kills. GameCube Live's got one kill. Wahoodie, Wahadi, if I pronounce that right, he's got two kills. Kenzie, Nerf Kenzie, smashing it with nine kills. And there's, you know, I'm just like chilling at two kills. So, you know, I'm not carrying this game at the moment, but. We're doing all right so far. Come on. Ooh. Thought he was going to have him then. Close. Damn it, man. I was about to shoot him. Like, trying to find, like, trying to find these players. Where the hell are they? He's up there. Can you see him? I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him because obviously because of the uh, spikes as well. Some players have been saying as well online, if you jump over the spikes on the fences, you will take damage as well, apparently. And um, obviously with the events that randomly happen within the game as well, if you're in the water, you will die. So be careful of your surroundings, especially when the random in-game events happen on this map. Because things can just change at any time. One moment you could be jumping super high and running really fast. And next thing you know, the whole map could be flooded. And if you touch the water, you're going to die. So be careful of your surroundings. That's all I will say. <clears throat> oh, if you're still... Hang on, hang on. <laughs> nice. We're checking you. One team member. Someone finish him off. Nice. Clipped him. Clipped him. Didn't down him though, but we clipped him. Come on, we got this. Yeah, what do you think of the new Primal Island map as well, by the way, guys? I like it. I really do like it. I want to see it come into the Battle Royale rotation as well, because don't get me wrong, I love the OG map and everything for Realm, but I want something new. I want something completely different to experience. And with this map, it feels like a breath of fresh air. It feels really good. So I want to see I want to see this map come into the Battle Royale rotation because they could put some crazy Easter eggs or anything on this map. They could really do something spectacular with it and you imagine as well if they had these events sort of thing added into the battle royale perspective you could be running around one moment in the top 10 and then randomly the map gets flooded and everyone's gonna get to high ground and stuff or everyone's like going into a building or something just because like you don't want to get like caught in the uh, in the water or something or the fog oh man that would be crazy think of like the clips and stuff that we'd be able to get off that sort of thing but anyways 
That, my friends, is my first game on Realm Wars on the PTS. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Are you excited for Realm Wars when it comes live on all platforms? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you have, enjoyed today's video. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you do. Would really, really appreciate it. Got plenty more Realm Royale content still to come to the channel. So make sure you look out for it. Anyways, stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you again in my next video.